Welcome to another edition of the Entertainment Corner. I'm Paul Ortiz, and we're in Costa Mesa at the beautiful Segerstrom Center for the Arts. And joining us now is the president, Terry Dwyer. Thanks so much for joining us today. My pleasure. You know, there's always so many terrific things going on here at the center, but something that uh, really has been happening for years and years now is your dance series, and that's become very popular with your audience. That's right. Really, right from the beginning of the center, more than 30 years ago, it's been our flagship artistic program, our great international dance series. Mm -hmm. Tell us about some of the performances that we'll be seeing here. I know you have the American Ballet Theater. They're always coming here, and they always have a, a wonderful audience. But All you right. have some terrific uh, dance companies that are coming here to Costa Mesa. Yeah, we're very proud of our dance season this year. It starts out with Tour de Force 3, the third time we've put together this compilation of some of the best dancers and the best choreography in the world. There's going to be four very special premieres that evening. Mm -hmm with the greatest dancers that we could find anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world really, including Diana Vishneva, um, um, Natalia Asapova, and Marcello Gomez. Wow. So that is going to be a very, very special evening. The Mikulovsky Ballet, mm -hmm. that's been here once before. It's, uh, it features Ivan Vasiliev and Paulina Semenyova, uh -huh. if I got that name right. right. Two, two of the best dancers in the world. I think they're dancing Corsair this year, one of the great classic ballets of, yeah. of the whole um, international canon. The American Ballet Theater is coming back. As you said, they're going to be here twice, including with Nutcracker, the great Alexei Retmansky's Nutcracker. That's, that was an audience favorite, a new tradition that started last year, mm -hmm. and we're going to have it again, which we're really thrilled about. Then we have a special production this year, a, single, a couple night performance of Bathsheba Dance Company from mm -hmm. Israel. Oh. It's a contemporary dance company. It's almost never been anywhere in the United States for that matter, and wow. we're just thrilled to be able to get it in Orange County for our audiences. That is a great, great company. They're mm -hmm. not going to want to miss the Bathsheba Dance Company. Then we have American Ballet Theater again, and they're coming back with a very special production, which I can't tell you about because we're not quite ready to announce it yet, but it's probably going to be a premiere and almost certainly a world premiere. Great. So keep your eyes open for the return of the American Ballet Theater. Then the Eichmann Ballet from St. Petersburg, Russia is coming. They've been here a number of times and they're coming with Red Giselle, which is a very special retelling of the great classic ballet Giselle. Mm -hmm. So people aren't going to want to miss that. Then we have the Teatro alla Scala Ballet Company. And they're coming with um, a number, uh, an American premiere, special choreography by Moro Biganzetti. And again, Paulina Semyonova is going to perform wow. a second time on our stage this year. And she is one of the greatest ballet dancers in the world. So we're, we're very, very lucky. Our audiences, mm -hmm. I think, are going to be really pleased. Well, not only does the center have, obviously, the dance series that you just talked about, but you also have something you call special events. And you're going to have something that's actually never been at this level, you know, this gentleman has never been on the stage like you're putting him here in Costa Mesa. That's quite an event. We're, we're thrilled to be able to present Alan Menken. Right. He's, he's really uh, a great composer for movies, a great composer for musicals. People will remember him from a lot of Disney hits, uh, Little Mermaid, uh, Pocahontas. He did the great Broadway hit, Little Shop of Horrors. He is a, a really a, a treasure in the American musical theater and for movies. Right. But he's going to be on stage performing himself, wow. performing his hit songs, but also telling stories about his life in the business. No kidding. That'll be really interesting. Really. You know, especially being here in South Orange County, we have so many mice chat you know, groupies oh, of yeah. Disney. So this oh, place yeah. is going to be packed to see someone like that. I think that. so. That sounds like a lot of fun. Speaking of fun, Lily Tomlin is coming to the center as well. Well, she is, she is one of the funniest people that's ever graced a stage. Mm -hmm. We've had her here before, and the audiences just roar from the moment she walks out on stage. She'll perform some of her great classic characters, yeah. but also some new, new material, right. and, and we're just thrilled to have her back. And she sings a little bit, too. You know, uh, she kind of does everything. She's like a, you know, a one-woman woman. show, right? That's right. Yeah, that's, it's a one-woman show. Yeah. Well, talk about a great show. This is going to be Johnny Mathis. Unbelievable. He's going to be celebrating his 60th anniversary, and he's going to do a Christmas concert December 4th. That's right. No better way to celebrate Christmas than an evening of great music with Johnny Mathis. Yeah. What more can you say? Exactly. And starting off the year for 2017, you're going to be bringing the Jerry Herman Songbook, and that's going to be January 19th. And everybody's heard of some of Jerry Herman's songs, right? Yeah, La Caja Fall mm -hmm. and all these, all these great musicals that he has done. And we're re really doing something unusual. We're bringing in a group of six or eight really top Broadway stars to sing all of his songs and celebrate all of his music. Wow. So it's going to be a great evening of people that love musical theater. You're going to be happy that night. In the wrap of some of the special events for uh -huh. 2017, your last uh, performer is going to be Steve Terrell. Everybody knows him and listens to him on the radio. Oh, yeah. He's a great audience favorite. He's going to celebrate the uh, songbook of Burt Bacharach and the, and the uh, lyrics of Hal David. 
and he's going to sing a lot of familiar tunes, and he's great, great connection with the audience. People will right. love that evening. Absolutely. And before I let you go, I want to mention that the Shanghai Acrobats of the People's Republic of China are going to be here. That's going to be on October 1st, and that's always a popular show. We just had a show similar to that in, uh, in our community, and that was sold out. So I imagine there's going to be a sellout here as well. Yeah, that's a great international production. It's going to be a big crowd pleaser. It's, it's pretty rare that that company tours internationally like this, yeah. so we're really happy that they're going to be on our stage. Absolutely. Well, let me ask you the question I ask you every year. Uh -oh. <laughs> what kind of shows do you have coming up for 2017, 2018? I know you got to be working on them now, right? We're working on all of them, but we've only, we've only had preliminary conversations about a Broadway season. Mm -hmm. We have heard, though, that there's going to be some blockbusters coming out of New York. We're negotiating for them. Right. Um, songs, uh, shows that they're going to be winning the Tony Awards this year will be coming to Orange County next year. So right. we're really happy about that. It, we just had the NFL draft. So is it similar to that? You guys are already doing your homework, and now you're going to see what shows are available, and you kind of work out what goes well with your schedule and what well, works well with your audience, and you well, bring them here. Well, it's right? kind of like that, except we get all the first-round choices. <laughs> there you go. That's a great answer. Sure thing. Well, that sounds like a great series. Be sure and check out their website, scfta.org, or give them a call at 714-556-ARTS to get any ticket information you might want. And come on over to the beautiful Sagerstrom Center for the Arts. Thanks so much for joining us on the Entertainment Corner. Thank you, Paul. I'm Paul Ortiz, and we'll see you again next time.